everyone, it's Anne from Annalise Creates, Annalise Creations. Welcome to my junk journal, my way. Um, so we're going to get started and enjoy the process. I am going to be going a little, probably a little slower than usual because I am now officially the one-armed artist. I've had my surgery and all is going well. It's just... I'm now getting cabin cabin fever because I haven't really been out much. Um, yeah, it's amazing what um, first of all how much one can do without <laughs> the use of an an arm. Um, but also, it's just uh, yeah amazing what we take for granted when we can't when we uh, when we are able bodied, so to speak. <laughs> So anyways, um, so I'm going to get started and enjoy the process. Um, what I'm going to start out with first is, um, first got to find the page. <laughs> Let's see, where is it? Here it is. Okay, so this is the page I want to work on today. I already had gessoed it. Well, actually, I was going to use black gesso. When I went to open the bottle, the bottle was dry. The gesso... The uh, pot was dry, so I had to, uh, yeah, get rid of it. So instead, I used some craft paint, and luckily, it stuck to the page. I didn't have to sand or anything, and let's hope it just stays that way, without any peeling or anything. So, yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with some um, deco art media fluid acrylics with the titanium white and I'm going to use my fan brush for this and hopefully I can get it to work because I'm only one armed right now so let's hope it works oh yeah okay maybe not such a great idea doing it this way but um, yeah okay I really yeah I don't know how I'm going to do it without another hand and it went right where I didn't want it to go but oh well okay I may have to just uh, finish this page up on another day as far as the the, spe the uh, sprackles speckles whatever the dots I wanted to put on this page so that's not gonna work so in the meantime because I didn't want it here I'm just gonna wipe it off a little bit and it doesn't matter if it's a little like this because it's going to be a little different anyways. And I don't know what I did with my baby wipes. Oh well. Okay. It's not going to matter. So I'm just going to keep going. Enjoy the process. Okay, so now I'm going to use some of the um, texture sand paste, okay, and that's going to go down at the bottom here. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry, and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so it's nice and dry now, and I'm going to take some DecoArt Dazzling Metallics craft paint, and you'll see what I'm going to do with it in just a second here. Make sure to shake it really well. It needs to be, the bottle needs to be shaked. Shake, 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 sh
I'm a little crazy, aren't I? Okay, so I'm going to set this out. I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to lightly go over it with a brush here with some gray paint over the um, sand, whatever medium you call it. What you might call it. And it's not quite coming out still. This was a bad bottle that they sent me. Let's see. Yeah, it's still not quite coming out the way it's supposed to, but okay. So, take and spread it across as best I can. So next, I have cut out some pieces out of the magazine again. I like watches, as you've heard. I like clocks and watches. I don't know why. Maybe it's because my mother instilled in me to always be on time, never to be late, always be a little early. Um, so yeah, so I guess maybe I, my time was of importance in my family to be not late, not fashionably late either, to be on time or early even. So I'm always looking at the clock, at the time. I guess I'm also just fascinated by the, the fronts of the clock, you know, the face of the clocks, just the different styles and such of watches and things. I don't own any expensive watches. In fact, I don't even wear a watch because I have my cell phone. And too many of the cheapy watches have nickel in them, and I'm allergic to nickel, the metal. It makes me break out. I have to have real gold or um, silver, real silver. If there's any traces of nickel in it, I break out. I get a really bad hives, uh, like rash actually. And it's itchy and it's just, yeah, it's yucky. It's, yeah, it's nasty. So anyways, I'm sorry if I didn't put that on film, I mean, putting the glue on the back of this. But as you know, I'm now the one-armed artist. And so it's very hard for me to do things one-handed. So sorry about that. So I'm putting this down. Oops, and I got some paint on it. There's something on it. Okay. Alright, that wasn't quite dry. The sand, texture sand wasn't quite dry, but that's okay. And excuse the noise today. It is Wednesday, and Wednesdays is the days that the gardeners come into this, into the park next door and right next to the park trail here. So you're going to hear their right on mowers and blowers and that's annoying actually. So, but I shouldn't complain because lately they've been coming later than 7.30 in the morning. Um, to me that's really early. Yeah, they've been coming a little later during the day, later in the afternoons now, so it's, it hasn't been so bad, but yeah. Okay, so next I'm going to glue something else down here and I've got, oh, hang on supposed to go in the background. Let's see if I can get it to uh, come up then first. It's not easy putting glue on something with one arm. It's very difficult because I'm not supposed to raise my arm up. My left arm up. It's a good thing it was my left shoulder that needed surgery and not my right. So then I would have been very in bad shape to be able to do art. that to go down first. Then I'm having this go over it. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, next, I'm just trying to smooth it out a little here. Looks like it's some gunk on it. I don't know where I got it. Well, like I said, it's a junk journal, so it doesn't have to look perfect. 
Right? And this, these are ways of learning new techniques too in your journals. If you know when you want to learn something new. good thing about using a glue stick. You can lift it back up without having to worry about it adhering too quickly. Okay, so there's that. Next, I'm going to put this wing on. I think I'm going to put it right about trying my best here guys I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm not in camera while I'm doing this
toodles and see you next time. Bye.